Janitorial franchising has been around for many years, I mean many decades, and we didn't feel like we needed to be another Me Too coming in with the same type of business plan, vision, concept, and so forth. So the first thing that was most important to us was culture. Uh, we felt like that was missing uh, with a lot of our competitors and so forth. So to differentiate ourselves, we really wanted to come in and be about relationships and relationships with people. And that started really with our original 360 Clean because we feel like that's, you know, that's what's most important to us is relationships. That's the legacy we want to, to continue to build and obviously leave. Well, culture really starts at the top and, and that really gets kicked off by Allison and Barry. I mean, they, they started this business together, their family business. So I think that's really where it starts and then they express that to the franchisees and also the support staff here in the, the support Center. I can't tell you how amazingly patient and loving they and caring they are to everyone, whether it's a franchisee, a regional developer, or someone in the sports staff. You know, you, you feel part of a family with 360 Clean. If I want to speak to Barry, you know, I can call him. Uh, if I want to speak to Allison, I can call him. You know, they know my kids' names, they know my wife's name. Anytime I come to any kind of function, that's what they expect. They expect family to be there. So I remember the first time I came, I didn't think family could come. And they was like, hey, where's your family? You know, and I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. So, you know, that's, that's one of the things that they, you know, they try to make sure everyone knows. They care more about me as a person than they, than they do as a business partner, which is awesome. You know, that culture really drove me here the, the love they have for me, even when I was a great franchisee and even when I was not a great franchisee. We feel like one of the biggest uh, advantages of owning a franchise is the network of franchisees. So when we do these events, whether it's our franchise reunion that takes place in different cities, and normally around January or February, we're bringing all of our franchise owners in and they're able to network and learn from each other. You know, it's not just what the franchisor, can offer, but also learning from other franchisees and building those relationships, and that's so important to us. We've, you know, I know people from other states and cities that I can call on whenever I have a problem, if it's something that uh, that, that I can't figure out on my own. So it's a very good support. You know, I, I, I truly think it is now that, you know, we're sitting here talking about it. it. It would be hard for me to imagine some of the people that I know not to be in my life. Even if I were not a franchise owner down the road somewhere, we would still be friends. Uh, when we first started franchising, we obviously did our franchise reunion, which was kind of like an annual convention. But as that began, began to build and we saw the momentum from it with the relationship Relationships, we also added in a recharge retreat that occurs each summer. So same thing kind of set up as our convention, but it's a lot less, uh, I guess, time in classroom and things like that. It's more of a laid back atmosphere. Um, from there, we've also added a company cruise, which a lot of our franchisees love. And this is another time, obviously, for everybody to connect, learn, and grow from each other. Oh, the thing I enjoy most is being able to do it with people I care about, but also the growth. I mean, to see people grow and to see the company grow, it's just amazing. I mean, like every day you come in and it just doesn't feel like work. You just feel like you're you're working towards, you know, that great ne the, the next great thing. It's really awesome.